I think the funniest thing about announcing it using the roller coaster picture was that everyone thinks that we got engaged on a roller coaster. Like, I do love the idea of yes. getting to go on a roller coaster, being like, will you marry me? And be like, what? Oh, movie star beautiful. Oh, wow. People's heads. There they are. There they are. Yeah. Hello, welcome, welcome to, to Cat Chat. Chat! I am Cat, and I'm here today with my fiancé. I'm the fiancé! I'm also the fiancé. We are fiancés! I brought you on the show today to discuss our upcoming engagement. Our upcoming engagement? <laughs> to discuss our upcoming nuptials. Yes! And engagement, which led to those nuptials yes. that are upcoming. We should do like a, um, like two truths and a lie. Okay. Until <laughs> like fake proposals. How about you start off? Okay, so I had been planning this for a while. I even went to Target and bought a new shirt for the occasion. Because, you know, I'm like, look fancy. She looked fine. I took us to breakfast at Russell's which is in Old Town Pasadena, and they have a lot of chandeliers. You should never make a big life decision without having had breakfast, I think. So then we drove to the Huntington and saw the sign that said the Rose Garden was closed for the day. And my plan had always been to start at the Rose Garden and then like walk down to this gazebo where everything was gonna be. And so then I was like, I don't know how to get to this gazebo without going through the Rose Garden. I don't know how we're gonna get there. My sense of direction is not the best and Katz is the best. So I was like, why don't you lead us? Um, my friend had like sweet talked her way into the hunting tent with this like bag of frames. So she was waiting in the pavilion for me to text her and say, okay, we're closed. And when we first started dating, Kat had given me this disposable camera and I had been taking <coughs> pictures of us on all of our trips and, and fun things that we were doing together for like the past year and a half. And so I got those pictures developed and then um, my friend strung them up with some twine and clothespins on all of these frames and some battery powered twinkly lights because I wanted the ambiance but uh, Kat does not love fire and I knew that we were pushing our limits with the hunting tin anyway and so I didn't want to like you know like candles there and then have them shut it down halfway through or something. I lit this candle for the aesthetic of the video, <laughs> but I'm terrified of it every moment that it's lit. I will douse it out quickly after the video. <laughs> you can take it away. Oh, and then you said, will you marry me? And I said, yes. Yay! So, <laughs> she <clears throat> serenaded me with her ukulele as we walked down the steps. Um, she played Can't Help Falling in Love you by Elvis and then sorry I'm so, I'm so sick right now my body is given out from all of the <laughs> excitement so I, we got to the pavilion there were the photos everywhere and it was really special because it was like the first ever photo we ever took together was on this camera and that's really special to me and that was one of the first ones that I saw and just like goofy silly one like I remember taking some of them like oh I remember we were going to the Sequoia National Forest or San Francisco so I remember taking those photos but there was one where like I have this like vampire <laughs> cape and I'm like coming after her and I'm like what is that and I finally remembered it was some weird costume shop that we went in and I was like that's so awesome and she played I will follow you into the dark which is really special to me by Death Cab for Cutie I was just all smiling the whole time and then she sat beside me and told me why she thinks I'm all right. And then she got down on um, one knee with this little box. Yes. My answer was being yes. And also, um, it was our one year, nine month anniversary. And every time that we have an anniversary every month, we shoot off um, like confetti cannons. And so I had one of those because it was our anniversary. So I shot off that confetti cannon and I have all the confetti here, which I picked up and saved. Um, and later we celebrated with dinner, so I saved the candle from the dessert that they brought us for that. And so then after the yay of the proposal, we texted a photo to my mom and we called her mom. And then 
we called my mom and we were like, what did you think of the photo? And she was like, you have a nice manicure. And I was like, yeah, anything else? She's like, Kim looks nice, what am I looking for? And we were like, my hand. And she was like, oh no, is it bad? Like she thought I injured my hand. And I was like, mom, my ring. The one ring on my hand. And she was like, oh, congratulations. And then what did I say? You said that we should go to Knott's Berry Farm and take our engagement announcement photo on the Pony Express, which is quite a fun roller coaster there. So we ran back to my place and <coughs> got a white shirt and wrote, she said yes, on it with a Sharpie. And then we hightailed it down to Knott's Berry Farm. Um, we love roller coasters yes. and we take a lot of photos on roller coasters, so it seemed on brand. Here is the last photo of us as girlfriends. Here's the first photo of us as fiancés. Here's Kim looking so cute. I would say yes all over again. And here we are together in the pavilion where she proposed. And these are all those little frames with the photos on them that her friend set up. This is the photo that we sent to my mother. Right when we called friends and family after the situation, like as we were driving to Knott's Berry Farm, we called some people and, um, which is I think dicey and hard to do because there's always somebody that you meant to call and you didn't get to call and it's already on Facebook and that's hard. But my phone kept dying. I had like very few battery points remaining. <laughs> um, but the first question everyone seemed to have was, so when is the wedding? And I was like, well, we've been proposed now for, or been engaged now for, 30 minutes, 30 so minutes. I don't know, so. but to answer the question, not this year. So, got to Mastery Farm. And got in. Which was a bit of a disaster because they made me pay for a new pass because I had left my pass at home because usually they just let you in. Yeah, usually I can show my ID and they look me up, but I've used up too many of those passes, so it was my fault, not Knott's, but still it was sad. And then, Pony Express was closed. And this is the roller coaster we wanted because we wanted to be able to read her shirt. Yeah. I had thought about this maybe before today. Um, <laughs> and I wanted to, to caption it. She ponied up and expressed her love for me and asked me to marry her. And that was like the Facebook caption that we were gonna use. And the ride was closed. And then we went to a different ride that I thought would also be okay. And that ride was also closed. <laughs> So I had to pay to get in the park, both rides were closed. So we went on the coal mine ride, as you do. As one does it. <laughs> and went through the coal mine. Yeah. Ended up talking to a very friendly gentleman in the information area, and he told us that the Pony Express ride had opened back up. Yeah. So we went and got in line for that. Just to like make sure that it was visible when we got to the section of the ride where the camera takes the picture, like I stood up as far as I could. And so in the picture, like I look like I'm like, Rah! We're able to get reservations at this restaurant that's very special to us called Pomona Mining Valley Co. Yeah. And we had been there for our six month anniversary, for our birthdays. birthdays. And then when I did like a pre-proposal back a few months ago for Kim, that was like an I'm ready for when you want to propose kind of a day. Yeah. Um, and we had gone there to celebrate after that. We had some nice steak. Steak night. Steak night. And that cheesy bread. <coughs> and the best vegetable soup I've ever had in my life. <coughs> Sorry. Might not know. make it to the wedding. Please, <coughs> choose life! When we ordered dessert, which was this really lovely bourbon bread pudding sort of a thing, our server brought it with a candle and she like yeah. lit it and was like, congratulations guys! It's just a, a lovely, perfect day all around. It was a lovely and perfect day. We did a great job of planning everything and to be so special to us both. She was so cute that day. Thank you. She was wearing just this really cute flowy skirt that she has. But it was only after I proposed that I found out she had been expecting this for a few days beforehand. So she had been like preparing herself for it. I wanted to wear an outfit that made me feel the most like me. Yeah. Like that outfit to me is my most um, cat outfit, I guess. 
oh, I keep thinking about how this is our only time that our label is gender neutral, being fiancés, because oh, yeah. gr when I say girlfriend, that's a dead giveaway. Well, actually it's not, because sometimes I say girlfriend and people think I just mean my friend. Um, but fiancé is gender neutral, so unless, like, I don't have to come out when I say my fiancé unless I choose to. I can be like, my fiancé, she proposed this way. Um, and then wife is gendered, so, um, that, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if, if you feel this way, but I honestly forget we're gay. Like, it doesn't occur to me that we're different from other couples sometimes. Uh. And sometimes it's very blatantly thrown in our face. Um, like, we were getting pizza recently, and this woman came up behind us and was like, Are y'all gay? Which was weird. Um, that you would scream that at someone. But, like, so that kind of thing, I'm like, Oh, yes, I remember we're different. But I guess. A lot of times, I don't even remember it, and then somebody will say something like, Oh, well, who proposed? And I'm like, Oh, yeah, because that's a, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. And that's fine, I welcome questions. I just think it's funny how it, it doesn't... I don't, I don't think of it as different, and then I remember like, Oh, yeah, there'll be two rides. We had some friendly competition because Kim's Facebook announcement of our engagement got <laughs> many more likes than mine. <laughs> so go like my status. <laughs> It's fun being engaged. It's fun getting to look over and be like, hey fiance! Oh yes, hello fiance in return. Don't want to marry me? She hasn't changed her mind yet. I have so that's not changed my mind! That is a relief. You and I have talked about marriage and wedding and like our future together. Like we discuss our future plans all the time for uh, months. But it's it's hard because if you tell someone like, oh, you know, my um girlfriend and they're like oh cool like and then that that means one thing but then if you say like my fiance then people are like oh like you're serious about your life together and so um yeah it's just interesting that i feel like other people now understand how serious we've yeah. been about what we mean to each other have you been my ride or die yeah <laughs> yes yeah i know it's it's nice to get to sit down and make like real tangible plans of what we want our married life to be like. Yeah. And I think every different, you know, relationship stage is special. But this one is especially especially special. I was gonna get my son so we can Yes! There's no time for this. Kevin's been such a good co-parent yes. to him thus far, but it'll be really nice for him to see his mom's you know, living in the same place. Yeah. Too, so I will also be his mommy forever. Before I left the morning that Kim proposed, I told Krull he was the last person that I told. <laughs> I was like, I could be getting engaged today, Krull. I've never seen this in my life. I still don't believe it's real except I had the photo. A single tear formed in his eye. I cannot, I, I, in all seriousness, a tiny tear formed, which worries me because I'm like, I've never seen him, yeah. like, I don't think lizards can cry. And I don't know if he was just overhydrated or what, but it was very beautiful. And I, I think that that's the closest that we're ever going to have to, you know, a reaction. Yeah. You could sit there, my son. Will you be our ring bearer? He's thinking it over. Take your time, son. Is our beautiful proposal story? Yes. It was wonderful and perfect, and she did a great job. I'm glad you said yes. Yay. Yes. Forever and for always. <laughs> <laughs>